Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS online video tutorial series. I'm Sean and uh, today we're going to be looking at a new feature that's well it's really similar to an existing feature that's been there for a long time. Um, first I'll show you the existing feature over again real quick. Uh, so as with anything in PSD to CSS online you start with a Photoshop file that uh, is a is a uh, design of a website. Um, in this case we've got this chunk right here which is a solid blue rectangle and we've named it body background underscore body BG and the feature that uh, is currently in place what will happen right now if we take this and save it file save oops sorry saved if we go to uh, Photoshop I'm sorry if we go to uh, PST to CSS online and upload this what body BG does is it takes that image and it repeats it horizontally and vertically over the whole background of everything in your whole page. So you can use that to make solid color backgrounds, you can use it to make pattern backgrounds, um, uh, and that's what it's for. It's very useful that way because you can just draw exactly what you want the background to look like in Photoshop and, uh, and let it be repeated by using this, uh, this technique. So uh, there we go. We'll take a look at it. And sure enough, there you, you can see that uh, the, uh, in Photoshop, it's it's this blue rectangle, and since it's a solid color of blue, it makes a blue background like that. Um, but what I want is just for the blue, a blue bar to go all the way across the top. This isn't what I want to see. What I want is something that looks more like this, say, goes all the way from one end to the other. And that's all well and good, except as soon as somebody uses a bigger browser, the, there's going to be white on the outside of that. And so you might imagine okay I'll just make this layer super wide but uh, the, no matter how wide you make it somebody's gonna have a browser that goes wider uh, not to mention the fact that that's a very inefficient way to make um, to make that image it's it's one solid color it doesn't need to be that one big image it's fine to let it repeat but I don't want it to repeat vertically I just want it to repeat sideways from side to side horizontally and so that's the new that's the new uh, feature so instead of calling this layer body BG I'm now going to call it body bg dash oops, body bg okay body bg dash r x for repeat x only repeat along the x and that's all I have to do that's the new that's the new feature if I save this one file save and go back here uh, oops go to psd to css online upload this file now. Now instead of repeating horizontally and vertically, it's only going to repeat horizontally wherever I placed it. Um, if you look around at a lot of uh, modern website designs, really current websites, it's a very common technique to have something that, some kind of image across the top um, that that uh, expands as wide as you'd like the browser, but uh, vertically there's something else, maybe a solid color or something below it. And so what we'll do is take a look at this, and there you go, sure enough, you can see that that blue bar has repeated horizontally in the X direction, but not vertically. So this isn't a very big screen, but oops, this is this isn't a very big screen. But if if it were and you maximize it, the blue bar would still go all the way to the edges, no matter how big the browser is. So uh, that is BodyBG-RX. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.